The coding bootcamp industry is quite similar to the fake guru, entrepreneur, mastermind, super expensive business coaching and seminar industry. Let me explain. Now this video probably won't win me a ton of friends in the world of coding boot camps. And if I ever decide to do sponsored videos on this channel, then this could possibly even prevent me from getting some sponsorships. But I'm fine with that because I want you to know the truth. Let's be real here. Even though the software development industry is awesome and has life-changing potential, it's just not going to be everybody. A lot of folks who start down this journey aren't even going to make it to the point where they can apply for jobs. And others will start applying for jobs, but they're going to give up before they ever get an interview or before they get a job offer. Some folks blame an oversaturated industry. The same thing was being said when I first started out. And others say it's too hard. Well, it is really hard, yet a lot of people do succeed. And there are a hundred other excuses or scapegoats out there for why people aren't able to succeed. My big concern is that in software development, there are four different groups of people out there. And two of these groups are easy to take advantage of financially. In the first group, you have the people who just don't have an aptitude for coding, or there's just a lack of interest. They might dip their toes into coding, but they quickly realize it's not for them and they move on. Group two are the wanna coders. These are the people who are trying to live the programming life or project that lifestyle without actually living the life. The third group has put in a lot of effort, but they wash out right before the payoff. They just need a little bit more perseverance, maybe push away their fears and not give in to excuses. They're so close, they could make it, but give up a couple feet before the finish line. It's just over the edge of the hill, and they might not even know how close they are to the finish line. If this is you, just keep going. You're closer than you think. The fourth group of people are the ones who put in hard work. They persisted through the emotional and mental challenges and eventually got a job. We're not going to focus tons on groups one and four because the outcomes are pretty obvious. Instead, let's focus on groups two and three. Now, I worry that these groups are pretty large and that a lot of coding boot camps seek to profit off of them in predatory ways. Wanna coders. These people are always in a state of learning to code or at least they talk like they are, but they usually aren't doing much. They might blow $3,000 on an expensive laptop that their favorite programmer uses and they're always working on an app or some tutorial. They'll be ready in six months, which turns into years. They blow money on freaking expensive courses and boot camps, but they always seem to be stuck in this pattern of spending money without getting anywhere. So what is up with that? Well, for these people, it's not actually about becoming a programmer. Staying in the cycle lets them live off of the dopamine that comes from anticipating the lifestyle. It's not until they get a wake-up call like being booted out of their parents' basement or they run out of money that the truth comes out and their fake identity fizzles. The laptop, the expensive boot camp are just social signaling. It gives them something to flex. Think about it. Why would someone pay several years worth of college tuition to attend a three to six month boot camp? especially when there are more affordable options out there. Because just like fake entrepreneurs like to flex expensive business guru programs, these people want expensive boot camps in order to signal or project their success that they're being part of the cool club. And if you're in this group too, you just gotta wake up before you end up going broke. Find something to actually do, something that actually interests you so that you can make something of your life. And it's not just group two who gets sucked into paying high prices for a boot camp. Group three is also susceptible to overpaying, but for different reasons. Paying for an expensive boot camp is a way that lets you trick yourself into believing that you are better than yourself or more qualified than you are because you took a more expensive course, which should, in theory, look better on a resume and hopefully provide better education. It makes you feel like a success, and subconsciously you hope it means that you'll avoid a lot of that pain of trying to get that first job. The truth is, no one is going to give a flying turd about your boot camp. You could have taken a $5,000 coding boot camp or a $20,000 boot camp. It doesn't matter. It's not going to stand out like a computer science degree. What matters is you and your skills and how well you can sell those skills. That's it. That is what matters. If we're being honest here, the problem is you. You simply lack confidence because you just haven't put in the time to develop the skills. This isn't just a software industry thing. High paying companies tend to want specialized employees that fit a specific need. It's just how it is. Going to a coding boot camp does not guarantee you a job. And the more topics that the boot camp tries to cover in a short period of time, the less prepared you might actually be. For a lot of people, the solution is time and effort. Putting in the time to develop enough skills to prove that you can do it. And it took me around nine months to start feeling like I was grasping things to where I could really work independently. 
I then looked for opportunities to use those skills to build things on my own and for my employer at the time. I ended up doing a lot of software development things for that employer before launching off into the tech industry. And guess what? I still felt completely unprepared and in a lot of ways I was. There was just a ton of stuff that I didn't know about building software in an enterprise environment. Not to mention that I had to deal with a ton of imposter syndrome. But what is really important here is that I had reached a point where I was confident that I could figure things out that I could demonstrate my potential to hiring manager who then ended up going out on a limb and gave me a chance. And to be clear, it's not my intention to scare you away from becoming a software developer. I just don't want you to feel compelled to dump tens of thousands of dollars into a program because you hope that doing so will be some magic pill for success. The coding boot camps know you have self doubt and they count on this. They're preying on your insecurities and sell themselves as that magic pill, but don't buy into that marketing hype. We all have self doubt and insecurities I have insecurities, and you're most likely much more capable than you think. Yes, some people could benefit from the structure, but seriously, how much is that worth? Take one tenth of what you would spend on a boot camp and put that into some high quality online courses. And so long as you have a plan and you set aside a lot of time to learn and to build things, you can get there and save a ton of money. And don't even buy all those courses up front. Just buy one of them as you need them and then buy another. And you might find out that you don't even come close to spending one tenth of the cost of the boot camp by the time you are actually ready to do things and just to be out working on your own. Or if you start with free resources, you might not end up spending hardly any money at all. Then when you feel like giving up, keep pushing forward because you're almost there. And if there's one thing that you could take away from this video, it is that I want you to remember that if you have it in you to succeed with a boot camp, you have it in you to succeed without a boot camp. Just saying. Anyways, here are some of the things that I wish I knew when I was starting out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Lates.